somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight we are checking out the one that started an entire franchise 1996's scream mm. now i was always personally more of a john carpenter guy more Oof. so than a wes craven guy friendly um, rival unfortunately i remember during uh football practice in college in between two a days i did see the like the first five ten minutes of this but beyond that with the rest of the scream franchise i have not seen any of them so as we go through this journey it'll all be new to me well there you go i have seen all of them but the most recent so i can't wait to get to that one with you guys so we can watch that one all together but i am definitely ready willing able to see you guys react to this one yeah i've only seen bits and pieces of this first one i'm kind of in the same boat as mason quinn this style of horror was never really my thing um i know we're taking the entire scream journey mm -hmm. I did see the second one, I believe, in the theaters, but I all want to say it was 98 or 99, so it's a good 24, 25 years ago. <laughs> Haven't seen any of the rest, so uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is if this is from 96 this is pretty much a first time watch for me well like nbc used to say if you haven't seen it it's noon to you so let's go Well, this almost screams 80s. <laughs> yeah, that's or 70s. Oh, the old corded phone. Hello. Landline. Oh, that is a young Drew Barrymore. Mm, who are you trying to reach? What number is this? Well, I think you have the wrong number. Hello? I'm sorry. Well, so why'd you dial it again? I want to talk to you for a second. <sighs> They've got 900 numbers. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, kids today. No idea, do they, Oak? Well, the old corded phone. Anchored to a room. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, I don't know. Halloween. Hey. What's yours? Guess. You Nightmare okay. on Elm Street. Would you really <laughs> Would you still have be this having conversation? Yeah. You got a boyfriend? <laughs> Why? You want to ask me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Oh. 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 That's I right. Know that was I'm the talking to. What? Oh, better lock those doors. Hello? Wait, I thought we were going to go out. I don't think so. Don't hang up on me. Well, that's always good to hear, too. Don't hang up on me. Yeah. I told you not to hang up on me. Dial someone else, okay? Oh, just the sound of the phone. If you hang up on me again, I'll gut you like a fish, understand? Me. Oh. <laughs> Okay, giant glass doors. Yeah, but... that sucks. Can you see me? I am two seconds away from calling the police. What do you want? To see what your insides look like. Oh, oh that's man. a creepy thing to say. Ugh. <laughs> who's there? Oh, they started this one like hot, didn't Yeah. They? You should never say who's there. Don't you watch scary movies? I thought you didn't have a boyfriend. I lied. Uh, Away from that glass. Steve, what it Uh oh, what? Turn on the patio lights. Oh, did they 86 her boyfriend? I shouldn't be laughing, but I feel like this is like late 90s, like, it's like comedy. Funny horror, maybe. Is this supposed to be like a serious. It's kind of a mix oh, yeah. of horror, and then it has its. That all depends on you. What kind of a game? Turn off the light. Man, I haven't seen Drew Barrymore in a role like this and forever yeah. no use to like this. Uh, I guess I didn't know what I was expecting. More like teenager type thing. This is pretty creepy. It's an easy category. Movie <laughs> trivia. Name the killer in Halloween. Michael Myers. Yes. Now for the real question. No. Name the killer in Friday the 13th. Jason. That's the wrong answer. Oh, the first one. Not the first no. one. Yeah. Jason's mother, Mrs. Boris, was the original. I'm afraid he's out. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Wait. Whoa! I, whoa! Wow! In the first ten minutes? I mean, it's it's been since '96 since I saw the intro, but damn. We're not finished yet. What door am I at? There are two main doors to your house. No. Oh. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, now as we know, <laughs> you corner yourself so nobody can get you from behind. That's right. Oh, Ooh. well. It's like a, a mafia boss sitting in the back of the restaurant. Uh. Oh, there he is. Make a run for it. Oh. Oh, with the Oof. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, Steve's 86. I That's don't... not. Oh, God. Uh. Oh. oh. Oh, really? Oh, uh. Jesus. <laughs> oh, the old nut shot. <laughs> she took a pretty bad one, though. Yeah. I don't think it's in it. Jesus. What is it? Casey. Casey. Hey. Oh, no. Casey, you upstairs? Casey? Oh, she's still. She's right there. Oh, my God. I can hear her. Oh, my God. I can hear her. Drive down to the Mackenzie's. Uh, oh, no. Oh, nasty. Uh, so that was a big thing they yep. had her on the poster yeah. and it's the biggest star coming into the movie yep uh, right away yeah, right it's the, usually something they never see happen in a movie yeah, i remember that was a big deal when they did it sleeping there <laughs> it's, it's, it's keith ulrich yeah. is that it's uh yeah it's it's the general dollar johnny <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's what i always thought i always thought it was like he's gonna have a decent career he looks like a young johnny depp i'm hitting the sack my flight leaves first thing in the morning. There's cash on the table, and I'm staying at the out of at the airport. Door is not even shut. Let's go, Billy. I've never snuck through your bedroom window. Well, two years ago we started off hot and heavy. Lately, we're just sort of edited for television. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what? what kind of cheesy you know, '90s yeah. talk is this? Wouldn't uh. dream of breaking your underwear roll. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jesus. Well, maybe we could do a little on top of the clothes. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, it's every dad's nightmare. Skeet Ulrich sneaking into your daughter's <laughs> Skeet, window. That's, that's, no, that's Ulrich. the nightmare. But it's Skeet Ulrich. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Diamond's always stuck bucket. You know what my dad will do to you? Oh, look at that. This, this, this center part. Just uh, mm -hmm. hanging uh, down. Yeah. I had that too when I had some sort of hair. Did you settle for a PG-13 relationship? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> <laughs> Eric Watt, Tom. All right. It's got a pretty solid score going on mm -hmm. this so far. Two young teenagers were found brutally murdered in the murder of Cook Strike. <laughs> Leave this shit. Oh, holy shit, is that Rose McGowan? Yes, it is. Why don't we be killed? Ripped open from end. So sad. Her mom and dad found her hanging from a tree. Fucking clueless. I mean, they're interrogating the entire school. Do those things. This is the worst crime they've seen in years. Even worse than. Worse than what? Yeah, worse than Something what? Something else that was happened a weird, in the town. That was a weird pause. It would appear to be your turn. <laughs> the guy's got the cardigan over his shoulders. Come on. Who's up next? Uh, hey, Sydney Fonzie. Prescott. Hey, 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 Fonzie. Hey. 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 It's a WCW world champion. Yep, David Arquette. <laughs> wow, what a young David Arquette. Sydney, thank you. That's Deputy Riley today, Sid. We're going to keep this very brief, Sydney. Sydney, were you very uh, close to Casey Beck? Never seen a principal grab a student by the chin like that. That was, <laughs> was kind of weird, was wasn't it, guys? Creepy, wasn't it? Hey, they asked if you like to hunt? Yeah, they did. Because their bodies were gutted. There's Matthew Lillard in the middle, and then Jamie Kennedy. Ah, <laughs> Jamie <laughs> Kennedy. Keller could easily be female. Basic instinct. That was an ice pick. And the fact is, it takes a man to do something like that. And you slid him from groin to sternum. It's called tact, you fuck rag. <laughs> 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 I thought you dumped it from me. It did. He's full of shit. Hey, what are you saying? That I killed her? It would certainly improve your high school kill. Fuck you, that case. Where were you last night? Working. The video starts that they fired your sorry ass. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> did you really put her liver in the mailbox? Better liver alone. Liver alone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you permanently stoned in this or something, or what? Oh, I don't like uh, this music. No. Nope. The old school bus. Right to the house, too. Yeah. I never had that luxury. I had to walk. <laughs> luxury. <laughs> you had to walk uphill both ways. Wait, wait, who's got a your gazebo that? over the front fence? <laughs> what? You know, the police and reporters and everything. It's like, oh, look at that place. Wow. Thanks. Later. Oh, look at all that wallpaper. <laughs> She gonna get eighty six in the middle of the afternoon? They just got wallpaper everywhere, everywhere. in this place. Boy, that old timey phone. Oh God! I wonder if we a teenager watching this for the first time now. What's up with those TVs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are they square? Woodsboro double murder case. The town's in shock, and no one can quite believe what has happened here. Only a year ago, Marie oh, Prescott, okay. wife and mother, was found raped and murdered. Oh, is that, that her mom? mom? Yep, Sydney Prescott. Oh, that's why her friend stopped mm -hmm. short of saying what happened. So that was the that was the reveal right there. Oh, uh... wasn't her quarter after seven? Yeah. Hello. Back to translate. I'm on my way, okay? Don't worry. Casey and Steve didn't bite it till way after 10. I'm gonna swing by the video store. I was thinking Tom Cruise and all the right moves. You know, if you pause it just right, you can see his penis. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Jesus, guy. <laughs> I forgot about that line. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, is this the one? Tatum, just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Who is this? You tell me. With the murders and all, it's like right out of a horror movie or something. Randy, you gave yourself away. Do you like scary movies, Sydney? Randy, that's so unoriginal. I'm disappointed in you. Maybe that's because I'm not Randy. The question is, where am I? Oh. Your front porch. Why would you be calling from my front porch? Okay, so go to the front. Uh, you, you know what? Well, I call your bluff. Sydney doesn't scare easy. So where are you? Right here. God, are we gonna get her 86 right at wait a minute? No, she was at the Comic Con, which means she was one of the main characters. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Barrymore was not at the Comic Con. What am I doing? Hello? Tell Tatum to hurry up, okay? Bye now. If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. Oh. Do you wanna die, Sydney? <laughs> Oh! Oh, Jesus! Right there! Oh! Oh! Oh, running oh, up the stairs! Running up the stairs! <laughs> uh, oh, cut the phone line. Classic. Yeah. Oh, early text messages. You all right? I think you're here. He's in the house. He's gone. Uh oh. What are you doing with a phone? Said what? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on, champ. Come on, Dewey. I caught him, Sheriff. Wait, who is it? Call these guys off. I didn't do it. Is that Dr. Loomis's kid? Sydney! How's she doing? Well, we're seeing a lot of you today. Are you alright? Tatum, you can't be here. There's official crime scene. Her dad's out of town, alright? She's staying with us tonight. Does mom know? Yes, doofus. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> okay. Right in that front is... of all the other guys. Right there. Creepy, huh? Jesus, the camera, hurry! My name isn't Jesus. <laughs> Is that Sydney Prescott they took away? Not talking to you. Can you tell me anything? Yeah, you're a real pain in the ass. Penny? Yeah? I know that you're about 50 pounds overweight. <laughs> that is move your fat tub of lard ass now! Oh, you're not very likable. Wow. He's not registered there. Could he have stayed somewhere else? Do we? They got that mask in. Dunkin' Donuts. Watch, it won't have any fingerprints from our boy on it. Uh, He's a... There's no way Let it's you they give it as being him this no. early. No. Everybody's got one, Sheriff. Call Vital Phone Comp. They got the records of every number dialed. 
What were you doing over at Sydney's house tonight? Sydney said you crawled through a window last night, too. You went out last night? <laughs> <laughs> Got bored, I decided to go for a ride. Sheriff, I didn't kill anybody. I almost sound a little Christopher Walken. I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> we're gonna have to hold you, son, till we get those phone records. It's crazy. Well, watch something happen while they got him on lockdown, yep. and it's going to clear him. Yep. Too early in the movie to have him be the guy. Yeah, to have the big reveal. Are there any more donuts in, in there? <laughs> Come on. Cindy, look at me. We sell this costume every five and dime in the state. What about that cellular phone bill? Well, we're pulling Loomis's account. We won't know anything until the morning. That's how it was back then. Now it's like yeah. five seconds. Oh, I got the whole thing. Yeah. These kids today. Hey, These Dewey, can we today. go now? What did Mama tell you? When I wear this badge, you treat me like a man of the law. <laughs> <laughs> what did Mom tell you? <laughs> Deputy Dewey boy. Isn't there a back way out of this pain? Yeah. Yeah, so stay here. I'm going to get the car. Don't move. Don't make a sound. There she is. Oh. <sighs> no, Tatum, it's okay. She's just doing her job. So, how's the book? I'll send you a copy. Oh! oh! KO'd. Nice <laughs> Send you a copy. Bam! Bit went down. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that picture of by the lamp? Thought you might want some ice for that right hook. He was destined to have a flaw. I knew he was too perfect. Was it for Sid? My dad? Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be them. And bros in jail. She's gonna know it's not him. Hello? Hello, Sydney. Oh, you're right. An innocent guy doesn't stand a chance with you. Who are you? You'll find out soon enough. Well, he's got his piece out. <laughs> and his finger on the trigger. Not good. Easy, Dewey. <laughs> Easy with the uh, trigger discipline. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sydney Prescott, who escaped a vicious attack when convicted Man, murderer it's... Cotton Weary broke into their home. Well, that... Oh, See, that, that's a young uh, Leave Schreiber. Yeah. Death sentence handed down after the young Sydney testified against him. It's never gonna stop, is it? His cellular bill was clean. He didn't make those calls. Any calls made to you or Casey Becker are being cross-referenced. It's gonna take some time, but we'll find him. Uh, things didn't no. work in the same, uh, Not the as same fast. way in the mid '90s as they do now. No. Nope. Don't worry, sit at school. You'll be safe. Here. Hey, I'm now leave her alone. People want to know they have. Just want to get an education. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sec. Uh-oh. Is she going to go apologize to Billy? No. It's like, uh... No. Stop right there. You owe me. I owe you sh**. You owe my mother. Somebody was going to write a book about it. Right, and it had to be you. Cotton Weary's in jail. They're going to gas him. A book is not going to change that. Oh. I think you falsely identified him, yes. Have you talked to Cotton? Many times. And has his story changed? Not one word. You're not so sure anymore, are you? Oh, I wonder after that phone call if she's having second yeah, guesses. Having doubts. Sorry I mangled your face. Wait, Sydney, don't go! I hardly think it's mangled. <laughs> Let's just relax a little bit. If I'm right about this, I could save a man's life. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Kenny. All about her. Haven't seen Billy around. Is he really pissed? Do you branded him the candy man? No, his heart's broken. <laughs> <laughs> branded him the candy man. Stu's laughing as us. <laughs> Somebody was there. No, the cops said I scared him away. I know. Look, just because he's a knockoff Johnny Depp doesn't mean he's a bad guy. Oh. Please understand. Understand what? Billy, I was attacked and nearly filleted last night. You haven't been the same since since your mother died. I can't believe you're bringing this up. No, it's been a year. <laughs> this is pretty oh, sketchy. It's <laughs> been a year. <laughs> Jesus. I want my girlfriend back. Oh, bro, that you, was. You can get a whole lot of nothing. You make me so sick. This is the way that you show your compassion and sensitivity, huh? You're both expelled. Get yeah. out. Give it to him, Fonz. Fairness would be to rip your insides out. Wow. I'm liking the Fonz here. Dropping the hammer. Expelled. Wow. Well, yeah. well if you were a principal, like, almost what would you do in that situation? Oh, yeah. He was a little, uh, with them scissors, <laughs> though. 
What if Sydney killed Casey and Steve? Maybe she had the hots for Steve. Maybe she's a slut, just like her mother. Her mother was a tramp. Oh. Completely suicidal. One day she snaps. She wants to kill herself. <laughs> you are pathetic. These, both those girls look to be about 24. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? It was the 90s. We'll let it, I guess we'll let it go. If you were under 30. Come on, you watched Beverly Hills 90210. If you were under 30 in the 90s or the 80s, you got to play a high school kid. Yeah. It's just the way it was. Oh. No way. Is in the school? Is she missing something? No, she heard somebody say her name. She's hearing things. Someone there? Okay, if there is, I would recommend getting yourself out of the bathroom as soon as possible. Okay, they could be sitting on the toilet. Yeah. God, someone would have to be pretty bold to do it in the school, though, right? Yeah, I would well, think so. Oh, this is where we're getting the jump scare. Ah. Oh. Oh, jeez. Nice slide. In what appears to be a prank, this is known to be the same costume worn by the killer. Who's next? Who's next? Jeez. Yeah, that's a great thing to ask. Uh, yeah. Gail Weathers, field correspondent, top story. Everything's under control. Well, of course, you're here. Oh, oh God. Oh. Is she going to play? Didn't they get married in real life, though? I think they did. Yeah, they were married in real life. I wonder if that they was before. They have a kid. Was they have before? a kid or two. It was before or after this? After. This is where they met. All classes are suspended until further notice. If you'll excuse me. I'm sorry, am I keeping you? You are much prettier in person. So you do watch the show. I was 24 for a whole year. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wrong to party tonight. My house, intimate gathering, intimate friends. Totally protective. Yo, I am so buff. Like I just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? Nice. Oh. What's going on with the Fonz? You know, when he got on the microphone, he sounded a little creepy. Well, and the way he was pointing them scissors around. Yeah, kids. There's no way he's running around chasing people, though. Yeah. <laughs> Just oh, like in it? Happy Days. Yep. He, hey. <laughs> Just feels bad. Yeah. Are we going to lose the Fonz? I think we might. Damn shits. Would you call me? Ah! Oh, that looks like <laughs> Freddy Krueger. No, Freddy. Not you, Fred. <laughs> and he had the hat. The hat, the sweater, everything. Uh, God, they're going to 86 the principal, aren't they? It's behind the door. Yep. Oh. Did we really just lose the fonts? If they were having an affair, then how come Cotton couldn't prove it in court? You can't prove a rumor, that's why. It goes further back, so. You know, if I was wrong about Cotton Weary, then... Duck Other said, you're starting to sound like some Wes Carpenter flick or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wes, Wes Carpenter! Carpenter. <laughs> Coming to my fiesta? Yeah, I'm off early. If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, would you be standing in the horror section? It was just a misunderstanding. You're such a little lap dog. <laughs> Why the cops let him go, smart guy? It's the standard horror movie stuff. There's always some stupid bullshit reason to kill your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of it all. The, be the beauty <laughs> of it all. Maybe Sydney wouldn't have sex with me. What, is she saving herself for you? Do you think Sid would go out with me? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> no, I don't at all. <laughs> You know, I think it's her father. Why can't they find her pops, man? That's what I'm saying. He was supposed to be at the Hilton. Everybody's a suspect! <laughs> How do we know you're not? If this were a scary movie, I'd be the prime suspect. Motives are incidental. Millennium. Good word, my man. Man, I, I'm sorry, but Matthew Lillard is stealing the show oh, yeah. at, at this point. He is good in everything. <laughs> Billy gonna be there tonight? I think we can live without the endorphin rush for one night. Billy's right, you know. Whenever he touches me, I just can't relax. It's no big deal, Sid. Billy and his penis don't deserve you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Such solid advice. Whoa, he was in the background. Billy, where the hell you been? I was keeping an eye on Sydney. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott. Where's Sydney? He's just rifling back of that heater. Dewey's got his <laughs> strawberry ice cream cone. Find Neil first, make sure he's our man. The boots? 
see the way they yeah, showed his boots? But the boots in the bathroom were brown, though. Were they? Now, this is interesting how so many people could be a, a suspect here. Right. The cops what dropping them off at the party? <laughs> at the party. <laughs> what? <laughs> so there's curfew, and he's dropping them off at the party when there's curfew. Well, I guess if they're all inside at 9 o'clock, right? Uh, that's, uh, you guys are trying. That was a kid that got expelled. That was like doing, the robe right. that Will Ferrell wore in and, uh, uh, Wedding Crashers. Uh. We spotted? I don't think so. <sighs> what brings you to these parts? <laughs> <laughs> then what are you doing here? Just keeping an eye on things. Do you mind if I join you? Not at all. Uh. Prom night. How come Jamie Lee Curtis is in all of his movies? Hey, hey, grab another beer, would you? Uh oh, beer in the garage. Just, I don't like it. Oh. You're underage. I'm kidding. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your <laughs> driving. <laughs> She's with me. I'm just checking things out. And take your medium up with you. Why is she there? Should I be worried? How's she going to get back in and get it later? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, shitheads. Hello. I suppose just go around front. Is that you, Randy? Everybody thinks it's Randy. What movie is this from? I spit on your garage. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, oh, nice. Fuck it. Oh. Oh. oh, nice. Right in the face. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> You know those openers are like a half horsepower. <laughs> yeah, that's whoa! Uh, oh, oh the, the the squish made it worse. Oh, he's going in the house. Tatum, come on! Jeez. Oh, look who showed up! Dollar store. You know, if Tatum sees you here, she'll drop lead. Why don't you guys go up to my parents' room? You know, you guys can talk. Oh. <laughs> he just. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I got a delay. How long is it? 30 seconds. It'll be fine. Just record it. Oh, she's going to see him walking through the house, except there's a delay. Yeah. I've been selfish. You're right. Enough is enough. And I can't keep lying to myself about who my mom was. It's like Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs. This isn't a movie. It is it. I don't know. Oh, look at that. This doesn't, uh, didn't end well on Friday the 13th. Can I be a Meg Ryan movie? Huh? Or even a good porno? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You heard me. Yeah. Are you sure? I think so. What is all wrong? Why do they do that? It's too red. <laughs> oh, those are the two kids who got expelled from school, remember? Yeah. Jamie Lee was always the virgin in horror movies. Could afford a decent pair. <laughs> What'd you say? Only virgins can do that. Don't you know the rules? Jesus Christ, you don't know the rules? <laughs> Lay it on them. In order to successfully survive a horror movie, you can never have sex. Big no no! Big no! <laughs> Throwing popcorn at him. Can never drink or do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Never, ever say, I'll be right back. I'm getting another beer. You want one? I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Car in the bushes down the road. I'm going to go check it out. You care to join me? I'd love to, if you're sure it's all right. I'm the deputy of this town. <laughs> <laughs> be right back. Oh. oh, she said be right back. Mm. I thought maybe we'd walk. It's such a nice night out. You're not scared, are you? <sighs> Coming off a little creepy there, Dewey. Do you know what that consolation is? I don't know. That's why I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if uh, if Lillard went into the garage, she's going to see. Here comes the obligatory chit shot. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, lovely! Uh-oh. 
They found Principal Henry dead. Let's go over there before they pry him down. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, the old T bird. I was so let's go. Dewey's just something I got stuck with a long time ago. Oh, I like it. Slow down! Freeze! Go! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Almost take out the, Whoa. the deputy. Dewey! Hey, look at that. Oh, oh yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah buddy. I didn't expect uh, Dale to Dewey. make the first move. Come on, Dewey. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Look at she just starts laughing. Uh-oh. Is that what you're looking for? My whole life. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? This is Neil Prescott's car. Sydney's father? Oh, he never even made it. Who'd you call? I don't know, when you're arrested, you're allowed... One phone call, so I was just curious. Who'd you call? Called my dad. Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. Oh, boy. You don't still think it was me, do you? Yeah, after that? Passionate lovemaking? I was just thinking if it were you, it would be a very clever way to throw me off track. Really? <laughs> what do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Something in the background there? Really, watch out! Oh! oh. <laughs> Uh, oh. Oh, oh this, this guy's taking some bumps. Yeah, he's uh, he's <laughs> had a few. Yeah, you're not getting out that window. Oh, oh, okay, landed in the boat. <sighs> oh, the garage. Oh, she's, oh, man. Watch out, Jamie, you know he's around. Oh, there he is. I told you. <laughs> Jamie, look behind. Turn around. <laughs> he's saying Jamie, and that's yeah. his real name, so that's even better. Yeah. Behind you, kid! Andy. What? Oh, 30 second delay. Oh! 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 oh. I'm gonna run into the open field. <laughs> Maybe she's got better cardio than he does. Lock your toe in it. Call the sheriff for backup. <laughs> Mr. Prescott. Oh, the music. Kenny, I need the cellular. Kenny! What, they moved the body? I was going to say, Kenny went to made it very far, and there yeah. should be blood all over the ground. Yeah. 911. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh that's oh, where that's where he was. Get him, Tori! Get off my fucking windshield! <laughs> <laughs> Kenny! Oh, Kenny, it's no way for him to go out. Oh, oh damn, oh. she was moving. Oh, oh right into the oh. tree. The old, uh, Classic Chevy. horror movie. You can never get away, can they? <laughs> the old Chevy van, not known for its safety features. Hope she's all right. Johnny, where are you? Get away! Don't go back into the house. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh, we really gonna lose? Do we? Oh, that's the same. Yeah, same Classic thing he does. He wipes it. No keys. Check the visor. It's always the, the visor, visor in the eighties movies. Oh, he's that's a nineties movie though. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Too bad she doesn't know how to hotwire it. The second you popped a door like that, you'd be able to pull right away. Yeah. Oh hatch. 
Hello, help me, please. He's going to try and kill me. Oh. No, I oh, have. back in the house. This guy's a genius at disappearing. There's a genius. this way. Gotta get the f out of here. Stay back. It's too good. Get you. Please. I did it. He did it. Fuck you both. Please. Oh, no. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Billy's still oh. alive? He took a couple to the chest. Uh, you okay? Dear, please. He'd be bleeding. Okay. I mean, he'd still be leaking. Look at him. Look at him. He can move his arms and everything. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yep. I think we... So there it is. <laughs> there it is right there. It's Billy. It is him. No, Billy. Fuck. <laughs> yep, I could tell. He came down yep. the stairs and the way he was moving, not enough blood. Mm -hmm. Corn syrup. <laughs> Surprise, Sydney. He was in on it too? Oh, that's a fun That's twist. how they could be Both in multiple places like that. What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll never get away with this. Tell that to Cotton Weary. Oh, they did it the whole time. Oh, uh, I want. So his mom. You are. So my mother was. There it is. Ah, uh, okay. Now you gotta die. Those are the rules. You're gonna love this. We got a surprise for you, Sydney. I'll be right back. Ah! <laughs> Attention. Oh. Oh, they had the dad. Guess we won't be needing this anymore. Uh -huh. Mother's anniversary set him off, and he went on a murder spree, killing everyone. Kills you, and shoots himself in the head. Oh, man, he played me. Hey, oh, this is this is the one that I've seen this part. <laughs> Yep. Uh, yeah, well, this is one of the scenes that I have seen because mm -hmm. he starts going off, doesn't he? My turn. It's, this is like oh, almost 30 years old. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh, oh, right oh, leak. Oh. You gotta have a sequel. No. You have a problem here. Go ahead and put it right there. Right here, asshole. Oh, oh, nice mm -hmm. save. Finds the gun and saves the day. I like that ending. Oh! Oh! Gun wasn't loaded? Safety wasn't was on? Works better without the safety on. Uh, oh. This is Gale Weather signing off. What? Uh oh. Are you alone in the house? We're gonna play a little game. I think I'm dying here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no, oh, Police are on their way. What are you gonna tell them? Pansy ass mama's boy. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really call the police. You're sorry, ass. I. Uh, she's turning the tables on him. Oh. 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 The, old oh. the old umbrella. Oh. Where's her dad at? Oh, yeah. I always had a thing for you, Jeez. <laughs> In your dreams. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that's so classic <laughs> electrocution <laughs> for the TV. Uh, can we get some Mythbusters to verify <laughs> as to whether you'd actually become a... I mean, it would hurt. Those were heavy TVs, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, that's the new meme that you're a power lifter when you had to carry that yeah, when you were yeah. a kid. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god, Randy, I thought you were dead. I never thought I'd be so happy to be a virgin. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Ah! Oh, oh there's ah! your brother. Oh! oh! Where's your dad at? Okay. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes uh, back. Yeah. For the, yeah. <laughs> oh! oh! Oh, no, I guess not. Dad. Oh, I thought she would have, like... Yeah, I thought she would have got oh, the duct Oh, she tape. probably just grabbed him. Probably didn't have time. Get, yeah, yeah, grabbed him, get out of there, instead of trying to cut everything off. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Hang in your <laughs> oh, hey! He's giving a thumbs up. He made it. All right. 
Okay, I think it's going to go something like this. Several more local teens are dead, like the plot of some scary movie. It all began with a scream. And then they use scary <laughs> movie. Oh, come on. <laughs> all played out here in this peaceful farmhouse. Uh, pretty sure there'd be do not cross paint fall around. No. They're just not it was, it was the 90s. It was the 90s. <laughs> They didn't do post credits in the oh, 90s. Oh, I guess. Dude. That's yeah, it. I That's all there is. Well, I thought there'd be another scene, like, showing Sydney or whatever. No, oh, it's just... Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. It's yeah. just a dimension. Yeah, not a post credit, but, like, maybe her and her dad getting into a. All right. There wow. you go, oh. fellas. That was... That was the start, folks. <laughs> we're we're going to be taking this ride all the way to the finish. All the way to the finish. And, you know, I think it's important to consider, because there was a few things... I did know about this coming in. Um, obviously, like I'd said, I knew about the Drew Barrymore thing because uh, that was a huge deal. And that was kind of one of the things that propelled this movie to be as popular as it was. Uh, that being said, I loved how they kind of had everybody uh, had the potential to be a suspect. I mean, the, the way the Fonz was acting, where <laughs> first he you know, kind of had Sydney by the chin like that a little bit with his hand, and we uh, all creepy. thought that was yeah, a, little, a little weird. We all thought that was a little creepy, and then the way he right. was with the scissors. But the problem is, did any of us really think the Fonz was going to be the ghost face slasher? Yeah. You know, so, but it, it was still good. You know, you had the potential with Sydney's dad, possibly, obviously with, uh, with Billy and Stu, um, you know, so, and, and even a little bit with, uh, with Dewey's character, he seemed a, a little off there in a couple of scenes, which I'm sure were obviously done on purpose. I absolutely love the Easter eggs that they had in this movie, uh, the way they were, playing off almost a little bit of breaking the fourth wall there with you know the rules of horror movies and then how they had the the freddy krueger janitor they which had was played by wes craven oh that was okay <laughs> nice that was wes craven <laughs> okay oh, yeah. nice and i like how they had uh henry winkler in the in the mirror doing his classic fonz yep. thing that he does in, in every episode of happy days so they, <laughs> they had a ton of easter eggs in here that i'm sure i missed uh, i would love to hear what some of them are from you guys out there in the comments but and then i think the other thing that i wanted to consider here before uh, i hand it over to the other guys was that you know this movie came at a time where i mean the the horror slasher movie genre was pretty much it was done like right. mm -hmm. you know the the halloweens had kind of become a little bit of parodies of themselves a little stagnant and, yeah and you know the the nightmare on elm streets and the friday the 13th had more or less kind of run their course a little bit they nobody was you know showing up for those there was a couple new ones popping up here and there but when this came out it sort of i think broke all the rules and it kind of brought that genre back and it, with the level of popularity that people were ready to see mm -hmm. so i mean it's definitely an important movie uh for the time when it came out uh that's a that's a fact and i gotta say matthew <laughs> okay. matthew lillard oh MVP, come on he completely he stole is, the he's show a treasure his personality was just so insane during this movie. Like, I swear we all knew somebody who was maybe a little bit like that, but he was like cranked up to 11 the whole time. Oh, yeah. His character was fantastic. And uh, like I said, no dad wants to see Skeet Ulrich coming through your daughter's <laughs> window at night. So this one was this one was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm glad I got to uh, to finish this off again. Not something I would normally watch, but can definitely appreciate it well like you said how it had to redo the genre like like when he had the rules what are the rules for a for a horror movie that they that they had amazingly done by randy from jamie kennedy yeah who i guess for his audition just was making fun of stuff so that's why they brought him in they just wes wes loved his energy and that's how they showed him throughout the whole yeah. the whole movie you know just and then telling the rules they're kind of breaking the fourth wall there like hey yep. there's rules to make it through a horror movie so like matthew lillard saying i'll be back he did end up getting 86 he did so he was right with that one yeah but i remember watching this as a kid just as a kid. <laughs> yeah hey i was i was this came on 96 i was 11 <laughs> yeah watching it watching it in the watching it with some popcorn in the bedroom with the lights off god it was so much fun watching this movie i was no so fun. entertained oh my god and and like to me I mean, like the stars I, I well and this is before all of them were really yeah. really well known like i said the biggest the biggest one on the poster was drew barrymore and she wasn't known yet i mean you had Liv schreiber as a as a 
in there. Very, for, very, very not well known. He, actor. he was in there for a second. A cameo, you know. And then you have Jamie Kennedy. I thought Skeet Ulrich was going to be bigger. No, sadly, he wasn't as you know. Yeah, he, I mean, he did great in this. He did a great job in this. We had Rose McGowan, who was just starting her career. You had Matthew Lillard, that other than Hackers, I hadn't seen him in anything yet. And then after that, I saw him like uh, Senseless and some other movies. And then obviously he crushed it as Shaggy. And then he, Courtney Cox was probably the second most well-known actress at yeah. the time because Friends had just come out two or three years earlier. So that was the other big person. And this was during the time that, you know, TV stars didn't really transition. There was TV stars and right. film stars. There wasn't, the, the you know, the, the two. Yeah. So this was, this was fun. This watching it now, knowing all these actors and actresses. I mean, David Arquette, this had to be the first time he was really known. And Nev Campbell was in party of five, party at of the five time. I think. And then that, was and then, uh, it, well, the, uh, I believe us on here too, that she was in the craft, I believe as well as oh, her early work right. with that's Rose right. McGowan. Yeah. So it was, it's just a fun horror movie for me because it like they break all the rules. I mean, they're calling up the killers. They're like, oh, what do you want me to do? Run upstairs. I'm not bit some big breasted bimbo. You know, all yeah. the fun things that you knew all from the, the 80s. Days. Because Wes is like, all right, we have to, we have to scrap it. You know, we have to, especially his little cameo as Freddy. It was just, I, I it just brought back so much memories. And I'm so glad so far you've liked it. Yeah, so it was far. fun the way they poked fun at it. And great seeing the WCW World Champion David <laughs> Arquette. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, um, like I had said during the intro, I've seen bits and pieces of this, and and honestly, it was uh, I don't know, maybe around the time it came out, you know. And I'm trying to think. That's what it's 1996, so we're talking 27 years. 20. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm aging myself. Oh gosh. 27 years ago. So yeah, I no been, kidding. I would have been like a sophomore in high school when this when this came out. Not something I went and saw in the theater. Um, I do like I did have vague recollections and, and apologies to Mason Quint. Oh yeah, I, just he's telling him everything. <laughs> but uh, not, well, everything, not everything. A bit of like, hey, this is the part where I said. So there was. I did remember. Um, oh, I uh, could have said Matthew right away. Lillard and the Houston. We have a problem. Then I'm like, oh, is this the scene where they're like jabbing each other? You got me too deep, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, I should have just started. Hey, there's Billy the killer. <laughs> uh, that's um, that's when Billy. But when Billy was coming down the stairs, then it like okay. Yeah, like I said, it, guys, you know, and it, it's like it might as well be the first time. It's literally been almost thirty yeah. years, guys. I almost don't want to like say it because of how old it makes me feel. But you know, I was early into high school, 11. and it's like you see it, and then you just like you see something once, you don't remember it. Thirty years later, then all of a sudden, like click. And even when Billy was getting stabbed after, you know, he had his uh, his his moment. With uh, with Sydney, I was like, oh yeah, oh well, he's taken out, and like it, nothing like clicked. And then when he started coming down the stairs, I'm like, oh okay, yeah, yeah, because like the no, bleeding that's the big reveal. reveal. Now it starts coming back. Like wait a minute, I was, I was loving it when right away he gets arrested. Oh, they, they don't they don't take the boyfriend right. Oh, the classic where it's yeah, they take so the wrong it, guy, it, yeah. and it's like boop, they did, yeah. they got you again. It took me a minute. Look, and if this movie had come out like two years ago and I saw bits and pieces of it, I would expect a little more for myself. Um, I said in the <laughs> intro, I said in the intro that I did see the second one in the theaters in the and i remember the, the only thing i remember distinctly is a friend was in the theater with me and i've told this story before when we've talked about um you know ways of looking at movies and mysteries and people who should be there and shouldn't be there and the things that they focus on and sometimes when they hold a shot a little too long and i had a friend that was in the theater with me not somebody that i hung out with that much but somebody that i was you know friends with this won't spoil it for me. no this okay. won't this one i will i'll leave the spoilers out but he um Anyhow, he had said that he was gonna he was gonna pick out who the uh, who the, the 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 killer was early, you know, and early, you know, like he, that's so, always the fun. Yeah, so he came out, out like I want to say maybe twenty minutes into the movie and handed me a piece of paper. He's like, "Now don't open it until the end." And I'm like, "You haven't." And this dude is like, he, he's a great guy. My buddy Ben Mullen, uh, Mensa guy's just a genius. We've been friends since we were little kids. But he hands me a sheet of paper, and he's like, "Now don't open it until the end of the movie." And we open it at the end. And he was right, and I'm not. He gave his explanation as to why he picked that, and it, and it all made sense. So the second one I saw in the theater, but honestly, other than, other than, and I'm sure it'll when we watch it, like stuff will start ringing a bell. But other than Ben, like this was 1998. I mean, that's 25 yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. 
So it's it's fun watching these when you kind of saw that in the theater. It's like when you know times. you've seen something, but you just can't can't remember. You can't remember because <laughs> it's been so long. And honestly, I mean, there's a handful of movies. Even you know, we, we were talking about some of the old Star Wars movies, and you know, I think those are on the list. And I know you haven't seen any of those. And answer uh, well for you, kind of. I've seen okay. like um, Star Wars has never been a movie that I've watched multiple times, mm -hmm. and uh, the parts, the uh, A New Hope, uh, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. I don't think I've watched start to finish since I was a little kid, mm -hmm. you know. And so there's stuff where you're gonna be like, oh does yeah, it, does the Family know? Guy parody count? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but so that's how it was with this movie. You know, when we came in, I'm like, okay, I remember a few parts. Um, but in any regard, this was, it was a lot of fun. It was, and you know, and, and you, Mason Quinn brought up a good story, like, or not a good story, but rather a good point that in the, you know, in that, that mid nineties, you know, late nineties, the, the classic slasher film had kind of been done and over with. And the movies that were super popular in the eighties and nineties, we always knew who the bad guy was. Yeah. yeah. Freddy Krueger was the bad guy. Jason Voorhees was the bad guy, except in the first one, yeah. which, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. they brought up in the yeah. movie. You know, yeah. Michael Myers was the bad guy. So it's like you knew, you know, the Hellraiser movies, Pinhead's yeah. the bad guy, you know. So in the, all these horror movies, you know, going in, it was just a matter of who they were going to take out, what fashion it was going to happen. And so this was a fun twist. And like the, both these gentlemen had said, you know, you didn't really know from the get go who it could be. They had the dad missing for a while, Not which was interesting. The calls, yeah. They had, you know, uh, when Never registered at the got hotel. over the microphone at school, it was like the way he said it was interesting. Yep. They did show the, the look and whether the, the boots were the a boots, different color. Yeah. When the officer put out a cigarette and stomped the boot, just to they plant held a little seed. that. They held that shot for just a little too long. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute, I you know, they do that stuff. Because um, look, and it could be the angry cop who's like, the, remember how he kept, remember how the officer kept talking bad about oh, kids these days or yeah, this mm -hmm. and kids these days or that. And Henry Winkler was saying the same thing. So maybe they just don't like kids or whatever, you know, who knows. But so I thought this was a fun movie and it, and it was a good twist. Um, I just... You know, like I said, I, I just wasn't never like a big fan of horror movies, like mm -hmm. suspense movies, like the movie Seven, one of my favorite movies of all time. And I think that came out right around the same. No, Seven would have been maybe a year, or I think 96, right around 96. Mm -hmm. I think 95 or 96. We I remember I was either sophomore or high school and we took a foreign exchange student to see Seven because we thought it was like a, a, a mystery movie and it turned out real bad. Um, case. But in any regard, um, those were my kinds of movies. Stuff like Seven where it was suspense and there could be a little bit of you know violence or whatever. But I think this was really fun. And answer, if we scroll up a little bit, didn't it say that the budget was like 15 million and oh. it made like 160 or something? Yeah, it, if you uh, scroll up a little higher, uh, it'll show the, it'll show the budget. There. there it is. Are there a budget of 14, 14 to 15, 15 million. million? And it popped off for 173. <laughs> well, you know, a million. lot of these, a lot of these types of movies, every now and then one will pop off like that. Of course, we all know about the Blair Witch Project, where it was made for like thirteen dollars and forty seven cents and made like a billion dollars. Yeah, like and if you think about if you think about this movie, you know, they had a little bit of special effects with Steve and with Drew Barrymore with their internal organs. Yep. You saw Kenny have his, you know, his neck cut. Yeah. You saw the one, the girl uh, in the Rose McGowan's character in the garage door. But other than that, yeah. very minimal stunts, very minimal special effects. Yeah. Uh, not well, really any CGI. No, I mean, whoever yeah. was playing uh, the, the ghost face uh, as like the stunt man or whatever, he was taking some hits. The number yeah, of yeah. Uh, back bumps that and guy even took. The, even the number of celebrities, you know, that's yeah. the one thing is like you look back and some of these people made it big, but to say 13 to 15 million. And that includes yeah. like what everybody's getting paid, paid on this yeah. thing. <laughs> getting paid on this thing. Yep. So um, yeah, I mean, obviously people people really love this movie, and uh, this would would have been a fun one to see in the theaters, I guess. And I think that's maybe why I went to see the second one in the theaters. Oh. There was, you know, there was so hype. much hype about mm -hmm. uh, about the first one. I don't I don't remember you know whether the second, third, fourth they they really made it to six. Mm -hmm. these. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I six just, came out. Uh, Late so last year, early this yeah, year. I was gonna oh. say it was recent, but um, in any regard, this was, this was, this was a lot of fun yep. for me. 
Um, and, and so when when did you say the last time you saw this was it been a minute? Or? Oh, it's been a it's been a while, but yeah, I've seen it so many times. I like the only thing I okay, didn't so remember was obviously see, so the one liners. You've seen it a bunch of times. Oh yeah. Okay, so you there wasn't oh, yeah. there wasn't anything. It was just the like, one liners that were new to me. Like you okay. know, I can see the Tom Cruise. <laughs> and some of the other things and i vaguely remembered him yeah making sure he did his hair thing because that way it would give you that moment of fonds one last time before he was 86 yep. so that way it could give you a little more simpy for you so they're, they're they had some little things in there you know what wes wanted to have fun with this one so that's why and then maybe that's why he brought in skid well, rich that looked kind of like johnny depp to be the the, the killer instead of imagine instead of being 86 uh, right like away to, i'd like to read through this and if wes craven did it i'm wondering if he's like, wow, we found somebody that looks just like Johnny Depp. Um, it was originally titled Scary Movie. That's that funny that it was titled <laughs> Scary, Scary Movie. Which eventually, as everybody knows, went on to be a parody mm -hmm. uh, movie. Now, Quinn, do you think this, like, uh, when I think of these Scream movies, and maybe it's because they did a parody off them, like, f uh, my recollection of them is kind of like cheesy, yeah. like, teeny bopper. Like, that's how, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I think this was a really good film. Right, right. Like, I think this was really well done, but yeah. just from what I remember of it, with these actors and this genre and this time frame, I've, I, I seem to, like, I want to look back and say, like, these were kind of cheesy, like, poorly done teeny boppy things yeah. which they weren't but is that kind of what you had a recollection of these a absolutely like i remember the first one being a big event right and then after that uh at least from what i can recall because i'm not you know uh, a fan of the of the series but they almost kind of like started to become parodies of themselves but from what i understand the last one uh really cranked it up and, and and brought it back and made it really good mm -hmm. again so that's my kind of my understanding like if it started like this then they started to go down a little bit and then well, they popped again. Well, kind of like me, halloween basically for, well, for me, yeah. uh, halloween one and two good you, yeah and one and then, two are good then three then is somewhere three we got into three three is the right, rhymes four and, and <laughs> reality tv three, yeah. three kind of goes down but four brings it back up five a little bit more and then okay i guess so, i have yeah, yet to see six yeah. so i can't decide and, on that and maybe that's why you know i never really had an interest for it you know because it's like well you saw the parody and stuff like okay it's just not my not my wheelhouse you know? yeah but a lot of fun either way and especially i think i think watching these movies with friends is a lot of fun because everybody can kind of you know bounce ideas off one another and everybody can kind of have a similar reaction mm -hmm. so that kind of and watching it, it and, and we've we've discussed this as well and this is something i've said multiple times on the channel and uh and i know everybody who watches some of these reactions sometimes it's your first time sometimes you watch a lot of our stuff so uh, there's times where I think these guys think you sound like a broken record, but we always have new audiences depending on the genres um, and when people find the channel. But when we watch these films, we are we're, we're hyper focused, and by hyper focused, I mean it's the three of us sitting here because we're doing our our thing. We're not even really talking with each other that much. It's more just our commentary. Mm -hmm. We bounce stuff off, so it's easy to focus. And in fact, like I'm trying to think back to when I would have seen this. And for some reason, I almost feel like it's the almost the scenario of what the kids were watching in them, <laughs> which was very realistic, right? Like, I've, a part of me thinks, like, okay, was I at a friend's, like, house party or something where there was a bunch of us sitting around Watching and somebody movie. put in Scream? And, and I, I, God, I think that's what it was, which is funny because that's what they were doing, yeah, is sitting around Halloween. watching a horror movie while yeah. something was happening. And now I'm, like, thinking, I think maybe that's what it was why you're not really yeah, you're you know paying attention everybody's just kind of joking and stuff but uh i i gotta be honest i was i came in with other side oh. i came in with very low expectations for yep. this first one and wow. the answer's already said the second <laughs> the next one's kind of go down and then maybe back up but for this first one i thought it was yeah I it's, it was it's really, really good yeah i thought it was really good uh right there skeet ulrich was casserole cindy's boyfriend billy loomis produced vi viewed him as a perfect for the part and noted his resemblance to young johnny depp who appeared in a nightmare on elm street one of the mini films yep, referenced in scream yep there well, you go like i said for me guys this is a lot of fun it kind of kick-started a whole uh franchise again and brought back a genre that had been missing uh that probably really wasn't done well since the 70s mid 70s early 80s but for me it's a it's a 3.9 out of five answers 3.95 3.9 Oh, you had the. F ah, oh, wow! What a trick! I was trickster. afraid you'd spoil it to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. 
But no, a lot of fun. Uh, great way to start a series, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of them. A lot of fun, this one. Me, obviously, it brought back a lot of memories. I viewed a little bit higher. I gave it a 4.3 out of 5 answers. Yeah, I, this, I came in with very, very low expectations um, from what I vaguely could remember. I, I wasn't that impressed, but again, we're talking 26, 27 years ago that I saw it. God, I feel old. Um, but in any regard, I thought this was really good. I had a lot of fun watching it, and now I'm kind of like amped up for the rest of yeah, them. But I'm gonna the give this. I'm gonna give this a solid four. I mean, I I, I came in with I, I came in thinking like a two, yeah. maybe a two point <laughs> five. It wasn't horrible, but it was whatever. I like I'm really really surprised right there now. How much I like this, and I and I will say before we wrapped up, I thought it was. And I didn't know, obviously, they had Drew Barrymore on the poster, mm -hmm. but it's very interesting that they took the biggest build celebrity that they had for this movie and offed her right away. Yep. I think that's kind of cool. And look, we didn't even have like an opening or anything. It was like the phone ringing, some screams, and then yep. boom, right, right into, into it, it. which yep. I really like. There's the movie so, poster. Yeah. So that that was Barrymore, it. Yeah, Arquette, geez. Cox, Nev Campbell, Skeet Ulrich. Yep. There you go. Oh, Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. What a great f start to the Scream franchise. So for Apton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals, and we'll catch you on the next one.